Hi, I'm Jessica Alstrom, and I'm known as the alchemist or the quantum biohacker. I'm clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudio, and I have created different programs such as the quantum fitness program, the uh, quantum method program, which is our international training academy that we are virtually located in 103 countries. And we work in the science of quantum biology, energy medicine, accelerated consciousness, divine accelerated healing modalities, and then obviously the spiritual arts that tie everything together. And I'm working on something right now that I think maybe you guys are finding a, a wall or maybe you're finding yourself at a point where you are. For over the last two years, I have been working on some individual healing of my own journey. And you can probably relate to this when I say that you feel in some areas of your life where you've hit the glass ceiling or you're kind of experiencing that 10 steps forward, 10 steps back. Even with all of my training and my ability to channel and my ability to read energy and you know availability as a medium in cases, I have access to all of this conscious awareness and all of this dimensional information. And I have found myself stuck at times in certain aspects of reality, relationships, time, health, money. They've all been an issue in the past, but seem to have cleared up very easily with the work that I was able to channel and do internally. And I got really stuck last year. And it was a beautiful experience because it came in the form of pain, which is our greatest teacher. And maybe you can relate to this where you feel that you've tried everything. You've studied everything. You may even be a teacher. You might be you know, a best-selling author, but there might be one area where you're still feeling stuck, trapped, blocked, or you're waiting. Maybe you're carrying some internal weight as emotional pain. It could be in the disguise of weight itself or it could be disguised as pain inside the body. Either way, you might be noticing at least one or two areas of your life where it still feels like you're waiting or you're stuck. And I was definitely there last year. And for me, I had kind of cleared up the body stuff and the money stuff and the time stuff and I was bumping into that relationship stuff and I was unable to find my blind spot because it's a lot easier for teachers, gurus, you know, guides to teach than it is to do sometimes. And so I decided to really finish my quantum fitness program that was my missing link to understanding the biological hormones and the spiritual connection of the body and how it all relates. A lot of the times we're using stress to make decisions, right? We're using feelings as navigators. We're using emotions as either walls or, um, you know, feedback for, uh, you know, staying addicted to something or someone. And that can be very blinding when it feels like it's being navigated from within. But a lot of the times the things that are urging us or calling us or, or craving are coming from those blind spots of trauma or pain or blockages that is in that emotional aspect of ourselves that we really can't see and feels like we might be using our intuition. But what we'll notice about it is it kind of keeps getting us stuck. We get very hopeful. We anticipate we have expectations and then we get disappointed and then we start all over again. And this is where I hit my wall and after 46 years said, it's time for me to really dive into the places that I haven't yet looked. And the interesting place was that it was in the science of the left and right hemisphere of the brain, the human hormones, the gut hormonal system and the gait energy and also the coherence of the heart connection with this. And when I put it all together and realized that we're working with more than chakras, we're working with elements of the physicality and your subatomic energy, your genetics, your bloodline, your lineage, not just your stories, but your family's stories, all vibrating at a cellular level, at a muscular level, at a bone level, and at an atom level, it's hard to differentiate between who you are and what's going on, especially if certain things are vibrating in the form of trauma or pain 
right? We can't necessarily see everything, but we are having a feeling and we are having emotion and we are possibly having that addictive sequence where we're kind of using that pain, pleasure, where instant gratification, we're settling in certain areas, we're justifying certain things. And it's, it's, a, it's a very frustrating place for people like us who are sensitive that we have to realize is that, you know, we, we give so much credit to the autistic community, but I want you to realize that if you are sensitive, if you are an empath, if you are um, feeling like you need to be more introverted as far as to feel safe, then you have to understand that we are on the spectrum and that our hormones are working very differently than say someone who is non-empathetic, right? They're just managing their hormonal reactions. Well, empaths and sensitive people, we have a double dose because we're feeling what we're feeling, but we're also feeling what other people are feeling. And I don't think that the spiritual community really takes this into understanding of what's happening viscerally as far as the feedback loop of our own expression, which means 90% of the things that you believe about yourself are a hormonal reaction, right? Fear, excitement, joy, passion, attraction, pleasure, this is all brought on by hormonal stimulus and therefore we usually act or behave in coherence to that which we believe we desire. But a lot of the times these hormonal responses are being triggered by a very different level of, of understanding or pain or even maybe not even within us. We might be feeling someone else's information and it's downloading as if it was our own soundtrack. And I like to use that idea of hormones being the soundtrack of your movie, because without the soundtrack, the movie would not be or have an emotional experience whatsoever. So when I started to actually work in biohacking of the physical human hormones, especially the stress hormones and all the adrenaline that was amplifying all of my ability to be stronger and my heart beating faster and my blood pumping more, I thought, why are we not using these stress hormones, cortisol, right? Our testosterone, our estrogen, our serotonin, our dopamine, our oxytocin, and, and to genetically work with what we have, but manually induce the direction of where the hormonal response is going to take us. And then quantum fitness was born because really the true biohack of this particular journey on earth is to embody spirit, which means to have your spirit inside of your body working as a co-creation, which means the codependency that is experienced out here is, is literally being separated by what could be happening within. The Wi-Fi that's built in instead of using someone else's hotspot to pay your bills or the job to pay your mortgage, your body is nothing more than abundance when spirit is here. But when hormones tell us to separate or to choose something that is outside of us, a lot of the times it's a sabotaging experience. And this program was literally written at my like rock bottom moment of, I can't go further on my journey until I figure this out. And when I started to manipulate my own hormones and activate the pharmacy of my brain, putting my brain in coherence with my gut brain and my heart coherence brain, right? Those three very powerful energies within you. It was only then that the chakra system was in full alignment and the Kundalini energy that I opened up 12 years ago was now flowing in the direction of my personal joy and abundance rather than in the direction of need or want or fulfillment or instant gratification or satisfied. It was moving in this like very raging river of alignment and I had like blind sides on now. I couldn't see anything other than my divine purpose, my divine flow, my metabolism increased, my body got very healthy and very strong. And I know that that was a byproduct of the energy moving. Like if you've ever washed your car and your hose is bent, you're not gonna get the pressure that you need or the desire that you need or the motivation that you need to fulfill your own destiny and dreams. And therefore when you're, you're moving like this or you're feeling stuck, a lot of times you just participate with whatever you're stuck with, 
right? And call it a life. So this is what our program really is about. Obviously, you see me on the social media and, you know, it looks like I'm a fitness guru, which I'm not. I'm literally a science nerd and I have had no desire to be in the fitness industry whatsoever other than utilizing the aspects and techniques of that internal muscular system, the metabolism, biohacking our hormones, changing the way that our, our gut is digesting information and food and repairing the coherence of the masculine and feminine side of the brain to open up the field of the heart. And that is really where the birth of quantum fitness and the alchemy programs have been, have been birthed out of basically. So if you are sick and tired of, of like you sabotaging yourself or not getting the results that you're seeing other people get, Understand that you're watching a bunch of people that are getting these great results, but you might be more empathetic, you might be more sensitive, you might be one of the clairs, and you're, it's an untapped spiritual gift. And so your system is more in fight or flight, and therefore when your system is in fight or flight because your environment is louder and clearer, then you're going to be impacted with double hormonal response that's going to slow your metabolism down and kind of bring your field in to protect you. And it's gonna feel like being an introvert is your only way to find peace and calm or when you're alone. And that's not what you're built for. You're built to have it all. You're built to create your own reality. You're here to have a body that is in the embodiment of your higher self at whatever age you're at and understanding and accepting yourself as a more sensitive being that has a more sensitive body might give you the grace that you need to really maybe change direction in how you've been trying to maybe lose the weight or heal that last you know, issue and understand that until the body and the mind and the soul are in unity, you're gonna feel like you're going 10 steps forward and 10 steps back in certain areas, especially with your physical body and outside relationships and money, right? Because that's all connected to our divine freedom, all right? So if this resonated with you, uh, there is a way for you to contact us and get a um, either a phone call where you can have a consultation with myself or one of the other coaches to see if one of our programs is right for you. You can also message us and ask questions um, and, and just understand that this is, the, this is the wave of the future is the embodiment piece. I feel like the body is the holy grail of where we have felt the most separate and we have whole, held a lot of our issues somewhere in the body and we have gotten as far as we can go with how we've been doing things in the healing world and in the physical world and now we've got to use the hormonal space and the coherence to bridge the gap there so that we can really walk into who we, we have always been and who we were designed to become so go ahead and reach out to us there's information below where you can message or call us you can schedule a consultation or you can ask questions and we will be sure to answer them and find out what is right step for you.